pressing uh, Lyrics engine. Start the engine. Heat the engine. I have to heat the engine up uh, to about an operating temperature, um, which is normally about 160, but I can only do that with a load on the engine, and I'm at the dock and don't want to put it in gear. So what this does is it warms the oil up, thins it out a little bit, makes it more viscous, so you can uh, suck it out of the engine. So step number one, start the engine and heat her up. Here's step number two, a little uh, hand pump. It has a tube that comes out of the bottom. It goes to an engine oil drain tube here. It goes uh, back to the bottom of the oil pan. Some people uh, suck the oil out of the dipstick. That's really hard to do on this boat. So there was a kit I bought that puts a long metal tube down a um, spot on the side of the oil pan on these atomic fours. And that allows you to get a uh, hose out here, and I hooked it up to the hand pump, pump it into a gallon sized jug. Uh, this jug contained um, distilled water, and I used uh, the distilled water in some dispensers for the battery, so it serves a dual purpose. I buy this, I fill up two little squirt bottles for the batteries, and then I use this to pump out the oil and take that to uh, the spot where I'm going to uh, get rid of the oil. Step number three, install four quarts of 10W30 as a E detergent motor oil. Fortunately on the Lyric, it's really easy. One of the uh, backup systems I have on my boat is a um, valve that goes down into the bilge and runs to the seacock that supplies the salt water for the raw water side of the cooling system. And what I can do is shut that off, uh, turn this valve on, there's some flooding in the boat that gets down into the bilge, turn this on suck the water out of the bilge through the engine and out the back. And so what I do with that is when I back flush my cooling system with antifreeze for winterizing, I take this hose off, there's extra in here, I pull it out, stick it into some antifreeze as you'll see here in a moment. Okay, I'm just about ready to start the engine. This will suck the antifreeze into the salt water side of the system here. Um, back flushing the salt water with antifreeze. It'll also take the new oil that I put in, run it up around the uh, piston rings, uh, crankshaft and stuff. Old oil is uh, slightly acidic, so you want to change it before you let your engine sit. And this will flush any of the old oil out of the system by the time I uh, crank the engine and, and uh, back flush the cooling system. So here it goes. spark plugs out, take a little bit of motor oil and a teaspoon and put it into the cylinders. Let's see three or four there. And I crank it by hand. Just take the flywheel here, turn it. What that does is it moves the pistons up and down with the oil and it lubricates the rings and moisturizes the rings. Uh, and the, the sleeve walls of the of the piston cylinder itself. So um, last year I didn't replace the spark plugs. And I'm thinking they need to be replaced this year. You can see they're starting to show a little bit of wear. Um, the head of the plugs is one of the things you want to look at. These are dry, uh, indicating that there's no uh, oil, that my uh, piston rings aren't leaking oil by. Otherwise they get coated with oil. They have a wet look to them, so that's a good sign. 
Uh, my exhaust doesn't show any uh, smoke coming out of it, indicating uh, oil blowing past the ring, so that's a good sign as well. So that's the last step for winterizing Lyric's engine. Hope you enjoyed it.